Hey everyone, so if you're wondering why I am in a train dressed as a dragon is because I actually did this look at the United Makeup Artists Expo event with NYX Cosmetics and I just thought it'd be cool to show you some of the footage really. Anyway, the dragon I'll be demonstrating today is the one you are seeing on the screen right now. So we're going to start off by blocking the brows using a glue stick and then I'm going in with some water based paints and painting the outsides of my face in this lovely green. Then I'm going in the middle with a white water based paint and then you want to just kind of apply that, cover your brows. Then I'm just kind of blending the colours together so you want to use lots of backwards and forwards motions and get a nice smooth blend. Taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm just applying this on my eyelids and the reason why I'm using this is because it's got a nice thick creamy consistency perfect for applying eyeshadow. Then you want to continue on and cover the rest of your face. And then taking the NYX SFX Cream Colours, I'm just starting to create the details. So just starting off with some very simple lines and then I'm going in with an eyeshadow brush and feel free to apply some eyeshadow as well and start creating the shades. Then I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and an angled brush and creating some depth. Continue on blending using back and forth and circular motions. You want to create the effect so it kind of goes from dark to light. Once I was happy with that, moving on to the eyes, I'm taking an angled brush and some red and I'm creating a cut crease. Again you want to use lots of blending motions and then creating the effect from dark to light. Then for the rest of my eye, I'm grabbing some yellow and I'm just packing the eyeshadow on. I was using the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette. Next, I'm grabbing a white eyeliner and just really cleaning the line up so this really cuts it and creates a really sharp effect. Next, one of my favourite parts, I'm grabbing some eyeliner and creating some large dramatic wings. Of course, repeat the same steps on the other eye. I'm grabbing some white eyeliner and just lining underneath my eyes. I'm taking the eyeliner underneath my eye and creating some really enlarged eyes, almost like drag queen inspired. Moving on to the nose, I've just painted it in green and then I'm just going in and creating the details. So the outline and the nostrils. Moving on to the cheeks, I'm actually grabbing some eyeshadow and really heavily contouring. I'm actually dragging this all the way to my lips and then I'm going in with some black to add some extra depth. I'm also going back in with some green face paint and really cutting that line to make it as clean as possible. Next, taking a fine brush and some dark green, here I am creating the scales and details. Moving on to my jawline, I'm just really cleaning it up and making it look finer than it actually is. For the mouth, I'm just going ahead and creating a line at the bottom and then I'm blending it downwards. Then I'm taking a cotton bud and just wiping away where the teeth are going to be and then filling this in white and these are going to be coming from the corners of my mouth. Then feel free to go in with some eyeshadow as well to create some additional depth and also along the jawline as well. Here I am highlighting with some white cream paint and just very gently dabbing it on. Just be careful with this step because you don't want to lift off the paint and apply your lashes and contact lenses and look how much of a difference this makes. Here I am just being a bit extra anal with details and just applying some mascara which was kind of unnecessary but you know just for peace of mind. Moving on to the neck and chest, you want to grab the same green you were using earlier and just create the really simple shape of the body. Then do the same with the yellow and fill in the insides. We're not going to worry about details at this point, we're just getting the colours down. Next you want to paint the rest in black and this is what's going to create the illusion. Moving on to the details, here I am just kind of outlining the shapes and creating the horizontal lines. 
You just want to keep building it up and start adding some shadow and depth. Use different shades like browns, black. Feel free to use some eyeshadow as well. And just take your time and build it up slowly. Feel free to also go in with some highlights as well. For the body, I'm just grabbing some eyeshadow or you can use paint as well. I'm just creating kind of like stripes and other details like scales as well. Taking some white eyeliner, I'm just highlighting each of the pieces and then some eyeshadow to give it a really 3D illusion. Moving on to the ears, so I'm just grabbing a wipe and I'm just wiping away the sides. And then taking some Meron liquid latex, I'm going to stick them on. These are made out of craft foam and paper, very very simple, and just painted with acrylic paints. Stick them on. Do a little dance. And then also feel free to bend them forward into shape so then they stick out a bit more. Finally, stick on a pair of horns and other accessories, etc. And that is it. Now, if you're wondering where I got these horns from, well, I made them. So I will be releasing a tutorial on how I made these horns. But if you'd like to know, then you're going to have to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.